Limping. Reduced pulse. Inflammation signs, pain, fever. Increased production of red blood cells, erythrocytes. These are signs and symptoms of arteritis. Arteritis is the inflammation of the walls of arteries, usually as a result of infection or autoimmune response. Arteritis may be occur in different parts of the body in different types. A complication of arteritis is thrombosis, which can be fatal. Or causing blindness, death of organ or tissue. Various imaging techniques may be used to diagnose and monitor disease progression. Imaging modalities may include direct angiography, magnetic resonance angiography, and ultrasonography. Arteritis may be primary or secondary to some other disease process. The primary types are Takayasu arteritis, also known as aortic arch syndrome, and pulseless disease. Affects large vessels, including aorta and arch branches. Clinically manifest, late claudication, renal artery stenosis causing hypertension, and neurological manifestations due to decreased blood flow to the brain. Most people with Takayasu's arteritis respond to steroids such as prednisone. Giant cell arteritis, also often called temporal arteritis, affects superficial temporal artery, other medium and large-sized vessels, Symptoms may include headache, pain over the temples, flu-like symptoms, double vision, and difficulty opening the mouth. Complication can include blockage of the artery to the eye with resulting blindness, aortic dissection, and aortic aneurysm. Giant cell arteritis is considered a medical emergency due to the potential of irreversible vision loss. Corticosteroids, typically high-dose prednisone, 1 mg kg day, should be started as soon as the diagnosis is suspected, even before the diagnosis is confirmed by biopsy, to prevent irreversible blindness secondary to ophthalmic artery occlusion. Polyarteritis nodosa, affecting medium-sized muscular arteries, typically involving the arteries of the kidneys and other internal organs but generally sparing the lung circulation. Polyarteritis nodosa may be present in infants. Polyarteritis nodosa, may affect nearly every organ system and thus it can present with a broad array of signs and symptoms. HASA manifestations result from ischemic damage to affected organs, often the skin, heart, kidneys, and nervous system. Constitutional symptoms are seen in up to 90% of affected individuals and include fever, fatigue, weakness, loss of appetite, and unintentional weight loss. Treatment involves medications to suppress the immune system, including prednisone and cyclophosphamide. The condition affects adults more frequently than children and males more frequently than females. Most cases occur between the ages of 40 and 60. Polyarteritis nodosa is more common in people with hepatitis B infection. 